welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing a Amberlynn Reed retro react. That was to me just tell. Okay. Um, last time we did a retro react, we uh, reacted to She Got Hurt where Becky, uh, I think sprained or tore her ligament in her ankle. Um, and today we will watch date night and grocery haul fun um i want to i think i asked in a previous video but i want to ask again uh if there were other content creators that you would like to see me react to um i know one person has said maybe eugene cooney uh i think i'm saying her name correctly i for a second thought about doing that however i'm not sure i'm the best person to cover her for a few reasons uh one being i haven't really followed her and like through her youtube journey i do know of her i know that she struggles with a very severe ed um and that there's some like kind of weird things going on with her mom like maybe controlling or kind of like continuous like kind of interacts with her in a way that you wouldn't expect an adult parent to be interacting with their adult child. Um, but the reason why I don't think I'm that great is that I don't really have very good background on it. And also, I have struggled with an ED for probably, not probably, for like 17 years of my life. Uh, and for me, it was I don't know what am I allowed to say on YouTube. Whatever, it's okay. Yeah. So um, I, with an eating with an ED, um, it's when you you're you are in constant recovery, and so for me, especially currently with me having health issues that have uh, resulted in me gaining weight upon other issues going on, um, and my doctor's trying to figure that out me trying to figure that out. Um, I do not think it would put me in a good mindset to do Eugenia Cooney. So I would ask if we could kind of not um, kind of go away from her. I do wish her the best. I, I've seen a few kind of not reaction videos, but people comment on her very quickly, like in TikTok videos and stuff. And um, it makes me really sad. I really hope the best for her. I hope that she finds um, some recovery place or some program that will resonate with her and will get her on a healthier track. Uh, but I know for me, I think it will end up being a bit too triggering, especially right now when my mental space within my ED is not the best. That being said, if you have other requests, I would love to hear them and I will check them out uh, if you give them to me. and. If I have to do a little bit of extra research, I will so that I'm a little bit more informed if I do end up reacting to other YouTubers. That being said, let's get into the reaction channel. No, not reaction channel. Let's get into the reaction, shall we? Also, my hair is wet because I took a quick shower, but not a full shower, just a body shower because I just got home from work and school and I felt gross. Anyway, anyway, ah, okay, let's get into it. Alrighty. So, we're gonna do date night and grocery haul. It's so fun. Ah, the infamous. Uh, this is, I think, the, one of the first times that she started doing uh, an introduction, like a whole introduction. Uh, what do you call that? You know what I mean. So. Actually, let's go back because this is pretty iconic. Aww. Hey guys! Hey guys! So as you can see, I have a flipping intro. Like, what? I'm super excited to have an intro. I went on Snapchat and I was like, you guys, I need help because I was trying to make intros and I was like, I literally suck at this and I'm going to be honest. I just... You know why she sucks at it? Uh, and she will still say this to this day. It's because she doesn't know how to edit. 
and yet she sits here going, oh my god, I love editing you guys. It's like my favorite thing to do. I spent like 500 hours on it. You don't know how to edit. And so you can't, you don't know how to like make an intro, which is just taking clips or you could like add graphics or like movement into it if you really want to get fancy. But like this person literally just put a background and then like put a, a video over it and did that multiple times. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not hard editing. It's the intro is cute, but it's like not hard editing. But Amber Lynn refuses to like even learn how to do that level of editing, which is crazy because she has been on YouTube for ten years. And at this point, she was on YouTube for like four, five years, like enough time that like you should start learning how to do things, you know. But no. She uh, this. I was like, I need help. You guys can send me your intros and, you know, make me an intro. People actually did. So I got so many intros, but this is the one that I chose for this video. And I want to give the person a shout out. Thank you so much, Dakota. They actually have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put their oh, hey, YouTube name right here. Dakota, thank you. You guys go watch his videos. All right. I, I won't, but where, is that a staircase to another piece of grass? I kind of love that. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't want to. He wanted some apple juice and some cookies. <laughs> okay. So I went to the store and got this one. And I got me some pork rinds because I was craving them for some reason. I think this is at, no. Maybe it's not at Becky's house. Maybe this is at her old apartment. That's crazy. I think this is the only time we ever saw her walk to a store. Like the only time that she's ever shown her in her 10 years, her walking to a store. That's crazy. I love this staircase though. So I'm not trying my hardest to start vlogging more for you guys. It's just when I'm around Becky, I kind of put work on the back burner. Oh, she is at Becky's. It's Becky's room, her future room. That's interesting, because she lived in that house for four years, and she never, I mean, maybe she did, and she didn't vlog it, but she never vlogged her doing that, and in fact, you know, as we all know, went through her bed-bound, like, very bad era. Um, it's interesting. Imagine if she had done that every day. She had done that walk. I bet you she would not be in the position she was in in that house or no. That would have been great exercise. Okay. Where are we? OTG. Why do you love a good car? I don't love that though. Where are they? So we're <laughs> currently. Was that? The movie theater park. Cheesecake Factory? I'm confused. I don't know what that was. We are going to see. What's it called again? A Wish, right? Wish Upon? Oh, Wish Upon. And we got here like an hour early. So. Amber always does soon, that. But I'm super excited. I haven't been to the movies actually since my first date with Becky. So that's like crazy. And she's still really shining on camera. Aw, yeah. Becky. I mean, at least you're talking, right? Yes. Yes. She's so cute, I can't. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Wait, and it's like super hot, but it kind of like low-key feels good. We have the windows down. This where AC is kind of... It's okay. Rackety, rackety. Becky, well, Amber Lynn buys you a new home today, car. So I have all my stuff gathered. And How long did she stay? I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna work on some... That was like an, an, uh, enough suitcases to like travel for two, two, three weeks. Damn, I literally moved to a different country with two suitcases. She, girls got more than I than I did when I moved to a whole new country. Well, the first time I don't know how many I have, but the second time, yes, I only have two suitcases. That's crazy. Videos for you guys. Actually, one actual suitcase and then one carry on, and a backpack, and a cat. So that's crazy. Anyways. Yay, I'm actually kind of excited. Like, I feel like I've been filmed for YouTube in forever. I just woke up, so my face is a little bit small. Are these glasses prescription? Because one day she wore glasses all the freaking time, which I'm just going to put it out there. This is not meant to be mean. 
those the shape of her glasses do not fit her face like the thick colored frame does not fit her face because her face is big like it wouldn't look good on me either I tried it doesn't look good it doesn't look good on people with like rounder I don't even want to say fatter faces because even when I'm smaller my face is just I got a lot of face right and Amber also has a lot of face um she should try getting like wire glasses that's what I got for my face as well it blends into your face more it looks nicer but anyways are these real glasses because like one day she had them the next day she didn't have them like we haven't seen her wear glasses in the last like four years <coughs> excuse me um I think, this, I think that's interesting where do they go in that and I am literally wearing the same thing I wore yesterday I just threw it on right quick so well, cause she probably slept I really night. only wore this for dinner and the movie, and then I ended up taking it off when I came back here. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's really> <coughs> Are you ready to go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Look at her. ready. Y'all, look at Becky's backpack, please. It's literally SpongeBob flying on like flying. cheeseburger uh, angels. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Krabby Patty. <laughs> what is the... <laughs> Everything is packed and ready okay. to go. That was crazy. Uh, Becky stayed at her aunt's tonight and tomorrow, so that's why she has her stuff. Just go bye guys. Oh, uh, this is so sad because I think this is probably one of the last times with Amber Lynn, the last kind of time period where she, like Becky was able to like actually go see her family regularly. Like she wanted, oh my God, see all of them. Dimitri's sniffing me hardcore right now. I don't know why. And it's, he's also moving around a lot and I keep petting him and his hair keeps flying up. Anyways, it's really sad because yeah, when she like, when Amberlynn moved into this house with Becky. She like Becky like never went to go see her family because she was tied to to Amberlynn. She had to, you know, be with Amberlynn twenty four seven because Amberlynn needed someone with her twenty four seven. It's so sad. Like you're seeing, we're gonna start see seeing the deterioration of of Becky's freedom, and that's heartbreaking. Let's go, my boys. Eat it. She just got scared because she turned the car Yeah, come on. Oh, 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 no one would ever say petite carrots cut and peeled. You'd say, I got baby carrots. Why does she do that? I don't know. I know it's not that big of a deal, but also it's a big deal to me. It's like such a weird little quirk that like she does that sets me off. 90% lean, 10% fat. We're gonna get a box of these medium shells. All right. Three cans of chickpeas. Two cans of mild diced tomatoes and green chilies. Two things gonna make of her... chicken broth and reduced sodium. What is it? Chili? Two things of the sweet Italian style chicken sausage with red and green peppers. Like you. Four Western. things of organic zucchini. It's so much food for Lots one person. Lots going to be getting are oh, maybe not. Uh, batteries. For some people, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous, but for me, Wow, I have a fear of avocado, like cutting avocado. Girl, I know. love avocado, but I haven't been able to buy avocado because about a year and a half ago, if you guys were watching my vlogs, then <gasps> so dramatic. I stabbed myself in the hand really bad trying to get a seed out of an avocado, and I had to get stitches. I. It's that whole thing was so funny. She's like freaking out because she like. I mean, I get it. I've I've also like slipped. It wasn't that big of a deal, but like, I get it could be that it like could have resulted in, in something much worse than it did for Amberlynn. But like, they were vlogging, and Amberlynn's like, I, you know, that thing in the center of the avocado, and <laughs> or sorry, 
who is it? Destiny is sitting there like, it's a seed. And like, she's like, whatever. And she's like, like, Destiny's like, we need to go get her like something to like, you know, some gauze and like, you know, just some like a bandage to like, so it doesn't get infected and stuff. And Amber like, but I have to eat first. <laughs> I feel like that was, I think maybe, one of the first times we really saw Amber Lynn with kind of like this food aggression. We all, we see it much more later in the Becky time, but, oh, such an iconic moment. Etc. So I finally was like, you know what, screw it. And I did the avocado perfectly. Instead of using a knife oh. to get the seed out, I used a spoon and it worked perfect. Okay. So you for do. dinner, I made some chickpeas. I just cooked them a bit because I like them when they're roasted. Two turkey burgers and I have an avocado. This is such a sad meal. First off, I love chickpeas. I love making hummus with it. I also just love roasting them like in the oven or just putting in this, anything. I love chickpeas. She just, it just looks so bad. How does she make some, like her food look so great? You know what I mean? It's like chickpeas don't look like this when you cook them. Like, I don't know, it's just, it. She somehow like takes out, it's like she like sucks the flavor out of things. It's weird to me and it looks tragic. This honestly looks so good. No, it doesn't. So I just got done eating my dinner and oh my gosh, it was super, super delicious. I recommend You're that dinner us. for anyone who likes those three ingredients, literally no. chickpeas, avocado, and a turkey burger. Like what? It's so good. Y'all. It's not. Girl, no one's gonna listen to you for food advice. You are the last person that anyone should take food advice from. Because you you just clearly don't actually like food. You just like eating a lot of it. Like your food never looks good. I'm hungry. Alright. Okay. Look at all those black pants. Last time I let the washer go, I didn't have it balanced right, and the washer started moving, and I literally thought, like, there was a monster in the washer, and it moved away from the wall. It was just really scary. Like, was it this that time, scary? I gotta make sure that is balanced. For my laundry soap, I use Blooming Lavender Ultimate Fresh. I never actually measure. I Maybe. just kind of pour. Maybe I should. But, I'm but I mean, usually I take my clothes to the laundry mat, so I don't really have to worry about it anyways. Like, to get it, like, you know, wash and folds. But when I do do my own laundry, I don't measure it. I'm too lazy. Also, so, I'm like, I don't know. This is field flowers. It's just make it softer softer fresher sure and i just pour all right a little bit oh my right. is kind of small so i'm just gonna put it on medium i think these were the clothes from becky's from becky's stay so she must not have stayed there very long because there's only like two pairs of pants and like two shirts i don't know maybe she keeps Breather. walking past me and let's hope my washer does not try to take off like last time. Okay, okay. my washer is pretty loud, so if you hear a weird noise, that's my washer. I have been in a reading slump lately, and I really do. Was... Actually, if you guys have made it this far in the video, and you have good book recommendations, please put the, like, comment them down below. I am in such a reading slump right now. I usually read, like, a book or two a week and I just for the past several months I have like not been able to get like find a book that brings me back into the book world so I need book recommendations if you have some leave them down below for me please and I'll let you know if I end up reading it and if I liked it or not um, some chores so that's why I have this stuff out I have been in a major reading slump lately and I used to read like a book also though like Amber Lynn's reading is like they're not good books. 
if she didn't even she doesn't even know of David Foster Wallace. Someone literally sent it to her and she had never heard of David Foster Wallace. Hey, for a hot minute there. I actually recently finished a book, but all of these books I have, I have never yet read. That's weird. And there's quite a few. That's so weird. I love weird. to read. The only one I actually read is I Could Pee on This, but I'm keeping that because it's super funny. So thinking which book do I want to read, I really want to read a Daniel Steele book because they're super easy to read, very flowy, but I also have quite a few yeah, other bad written, books and authors badly I want to read, books. so I'm like, I don't know what to do. I stood here at my bookshelf for like a hot minute and I decided what book. Okay. It is a Daniel Steele book and I've really been wanting to read this. I actually got this from Goodwill, I think. Goodwill, if you guys like Daniel Steele, Goodwill is the place to go. I'm super excited to read this. It's called Dating Game. Vicky, what I have. This is my scale that needs new batteries. Oh, okay. Look at what else I have. Girl, batteries. let's get it going. Most requested thing in the world. Okay. So many people are like, why do you always need okay. batteries? I keep this on the ground, actually right behind me, because that's where I weigh myself. Rarity and Wasabi, my cats, like to sit on it. So for hours at a time, my scale is being used, being weighed by cats. So the batteries go bad. New the very cat thing to do. I feel like this is battery porn for some people because, oh my God, Amberlynn, where are you getting batteries? Amberlynn, are you getting batteries? Amberlynn, where's the batteries? Uh, if you know me in real life, you know I am the furthest from being a brood. I'm all for it. I've done a lot of it. Um, I don't want to hear the word porn coming out of Amberlynn Reed's mouth to me. That's uncomfortable. Where are the batteries at though? Job two in. Two more to go. Oh Hashtag my god. Battery porn. Oh look, we have reached climax. You guys, I'm not gonna myself oh, now because so it is gross. getting Girl. nighttime. I not pee you. And you're not supposed to wear yourself at night. Always wear yourself when you first wake up after you go pee and all that. Gusta. So there's no medical thing saying you can never weigh yourself at night. You should only weigh yourself after you've gone to the bathroom and blah, blah, blah. What? You're just making shit up. It's just because that's when you're going to be the lightest. That's when everyone's going to be the lightest, right? You're dehydrated. You haven't, like, drank water for eight hours. Like, you haven't eaten anything for eight plus hours. Like, of course, you're going to be the lightest because, you, you know? But, like... It's fine. You want to weigh yourself in the evening? Weigh yourself in the evening. Weigh yourself whatever the fuck you want. Your weight is going to fluctuate throughout the day. Give or take like three to five pounds, you know? I'm currently on view now. And I said, if you want to say hi, say hi. So you guys hi. can see your name on here. AL is the goddess of the universe. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, you're so good at giving advice. Thank you. Um, so She's not. Math faces. Are you upset? What's wrong? Um, so, oh, Courtney is sending some love. I love you now. It's so fun. This is, like, the best way for me to interact with you guys, and I enjoy it a ton. So, hey. I'm about to start the new episode of Big Brother. Yes, Big Brother for the win. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to sleep. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and we'll see you next one. Bye. 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 Uh, that was, that sucked. Um... I was hoping that we were going to see more Becky. Hello, hello. Okay, calm down. See more Becky. We are apparently are not. Um, I want to go back because, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, I want to see what the next video is because I'm like, when does, I don't, I thought Becky was like in it from the beginning, but apparently she is not in it from the beginning and I'm just a dumb bitch. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Give me a second. Also, after I think I, I want to go through comments because I liked when I did that last time. And I think the comments are really funny on the older videos, especially because I don't really remember these times. Uh, let's see. Okay. So the next one is watch me clean, but Becky's in the, um, thumbnail. 
and then they have a hotel oh yeah i forgot they did a vacation like when they first started dating and they essentially just ate and i think went to target okay let's go and look at the comments because now i'm like here. okay no so let's see um please tell me you did not leave the dog in your car yeah i'm so glad you're putting this positive effort into your videos okay and she didn't really do it but okay love the intro love the video proud of you for walking to the store i saw you and sarah okay cute intro don't you do not need to use a knife or a spoon to get the seed out if the avocado is ripe enough to eat it then you should only have to cut it in half oh okay well oh it's so positive i guess it's good it's good she should i mean I don't think she did many contra- Oh, no. The Casey. The Casey incident that ha has happened already. But, like, I guess, like, at this point, it does look like she's actually, like, attempting to try to improve her health. So, I guess, yeah. There's nothing really controversial. Anyways, I guess we'll stop there. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Dimitri and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, please comment down below any uh, channels you'd like to see me react to slash any book recommendations you have because I need a book recommendation. Um, again, I think that's all I have. I will most likely be back tomorrow with either a new Amberlynn Reed video or a retro react, which I said uh, the next one was clean with me. We might skip that. I might preview that to see if it's like really boring or not. Anyways, thank you again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.